all right guys so this is how I put together the summit group website I want to show you a couple of steps here so first uh, you'll see there's the logo in the middle and then here is a, a top bar and I want to show you how I set this up uh, if you look up here at the very top you'll see theme options uh, and by the way let me show you that this is theme option number uh, seven and see if I can bring that over and show you that theme yeah here it is so I got this from theme forest it's theme number seven uh, the seven it's called the seven but here's the cool thing about this this is a multi-purpose theme so we may have talked about that maybe you covered we covered that in one of the other videos multi-purpose just simply means you can do all kinds of great things with it and you can begin to morph the website into more of a custom look um, as opposed to a static uh, template it has a lot of uh, features and things so uh, that you can change so uh, here inside the theme uh, you'll see that you have the options for branding so if we click here on branding you'll see that the logo is in now the logo is in a couple of times within the seven so uh, you'll see the logo and then you have this high definition of it so what I did was I edited the logo uh, in PicMonkey and I, I lowered it to 280 uh, the clients provided me with the logo so I lowered it to 280 so it would fit up there neatly and then uh, when you click remove the old logo that was in the seven I was in here I loaded in then went to my computer and loaded in the original logo that they gave me this one's an HD a high definition DPI retina ready logo so no matter how much they stretch it it's not going to look uh, stretched on their uh, probably mostly like their iPads you know where you can pinch and stretch things it's going to look really good and then what I did was within PicMonkey um, I took the top of the logo and let me show you here uh, within PicMonkey uh, I took the top of the logo and I just simply uh, cropped so here under crop if you click on crop you can go in and it'll allow you to crop the logo so I cropped out that top part just so I could get it and then I just clicked here and I cropped this out but the logo was here at the bottom uh, the summit group and I just simply took that out uh, so that I could just get this top part now why did I do that I did that because I wanted to have what is called uh, logo in bottom line and of course uh, the floating logo uh, was important and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second okay and then when you're done with this and of course you can go through and create favicons and you can put some copyright information in there I decided not to give them uh, the theme credit which means that they're at the bottom it's going to say dream theme and you click on that if you want to give them credit for it but I didn't see a link to an affiliate or anything so what the heck right we're all in business to make money and so uh, clients will have the feeling that you've designed something for them a little more custom if you aren't linking to or showing uh, that specific theme link so I left it out so now when you go back to um, back to the main page so we'll click here on wealth and go back to the main page now there isn't enough content here yet but once there's enough content uh, we'll get a floating menu and you'll see that this little logo here will pop up so a couple things here uh, so we have this top part how did I edit that part here that is the top menu so you click on top bar and when you click on top bar you'll see that the background color is this gold color and I got that directly from a pick monkey so I know exactly what color that is I just simply went to uh, I specifically went to the pick monkey section and I clicked here on this section here and uh, I'm going to discard that and then I clicked and added this to it and when I added that uh, I clicked on the color and then I clicked this little eye drop here so that I could get the exact color gold that I want it and then when I click back here on gold I get this number now the number can be slightly different that's okay um, but it, it will help you to get an idea how to match things up a little bit it'll help you to match stuff up just a little bit so uh, back to the design so then you put in the color here I, I type that color in then as you scroll down uh, it had a few other questions I don't know if I have their address yet so I just put an address so they could see where it goes um, they don't have Skype and most people don't like working hours um, but th we could put in here you know 9 to 5 p.m. and then available on weekends uh, by appointment and I just type that in and then this was one of their uh, sayings or quotes that they wanted on their website I don't know if they're gonna want that in that specific spot but I put that there just in case then for those social icons that you see at the top right um, they felt small to me but there's no way to really adjust them so what I did was I put in 
show round outlines and I click here uh, to show them and then of course uh, you can hover over and um, when you hover over the icons you get this blue color now the blue color of course came from uh, this color here right so remember I had this color let's delete that out of there and I what I did was here um, I went in and I figured out what that color was with the eye drop okay and so then I came back and put that color right in here and typed it in that's it that's how simple it is down in the social media section uh, I put in Facebook and then Facebook and Twitter and then if I wanted to add something else I could for the moment all I did just because I don't have their Facebook information I put in the ampersand or the pound sign when you put that pound sign in there uh, it will show up on the front but it but it doesn't go anywhere okay and then you just simply click save those options now my next step is uh, to add menu to add a menu to the system okay okay now that that's saved we'll go back you'll see uh, that information's here I put in a little quote and then uh, the blue and the circle around the icons okay now so we need to add menus to the system so let's go in click on menus and then we need to add the names so here I know one of them is going to be home so I'm gonna add home uh, to the main menu and then I want them to automatically show up because I'm going to add a lot of menus uh, pretty quickly here uh, to the site so I've set that up for home and then that is going to need to be saved over here on the right hand side so you click save okay now let's just simply go up here and start adding pages now I know that one of the things they want uh, they want a couple of pages now I'll show you a trick to adding pages because sometimes it can be easy like in this case they have let me just count this real quick they have four uh, seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen what looks like um, nineteen pages so that's a lot of pages right but instead of uh, trying to create all those pages at one time uh, I would just recommend that you add a plugin that adds the pages for you and um, I'm gonna go and add that plugin Let me show you the name and how to add it okay so what you can do is over here search for the plugin now the one that I tend to use is one called uh, simple uh, add page and let's go and take a look at that see if that pops up let's see simple add page or post uh, here's the one that I've always used. Now it hasn't been updated in a little bit, um, but there's 15,000 downloads. It's a real simple uh, pro, uh, plugin, and uh, I've used it for a long time. Now, for any reason, uh, you want to double check if for any reason your plugin happens to crash your website, don't panic. Uh, what you do is you simply go into uh, the, 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 the C panel section, find that plugin, and delete the plugin, and your website will come back up okay so for any reason you see that something's out of date and you know that the moment you loaded that plugin in it crashed your site just go into cPanel and delete that plugin okay and check some other videos for how to go in and delete plugins uh, from the cPanel because you won't be able to get into WordPress to do that okay so now here let's see uh, okay so it's all active now here's the simple add page post so let me go and copy the pages and let's paste those in here okay so we got a couple things uh, this it brought in some some of the code because the customer made sure that we would uh, ha know which one was actually indexed uh, excuse me indented so that's the reason why we have that right it's coming from a word document um, but that's cool those are good instructions and so basically uh, we just simply go in and delete this information and what we're going to do is we're going to create some pages pretty quickly here so we want them to be pages um, I could put these little sub dots in here on the right hand side um, but I'm not going to use uh, this system I'm actually going to do it manually uh, but what I didn't want to do was cr sit and create all these pages okay now so here's support supports the one that created these pages uh, but that's just in case they are post these are actually pages see you can create post uh, for your clients as well but to load in a lot of pages I think there was a lot here okay now so we're ready 
it's going to ask us if we're ready uh, it's going to say are you sure and the answer is yes I want to create all of these pages and then bingo it's going through and it's creating all of the pages for you so that's fast if you don't have to look at a job where especially if you come across a job where a client says hey I'll put in all the content if you just create all the pages and they've got 70 pages no problem uh, here's 18 pages that have been created that are brand new now those pages you can go take a look at them trust that they've been created they're all loaded into the system uh, that fast and they were all done like a minute ago right and these are little shortcuts to save you time and energy and also not to panic when someone says yeah this guy you know he didn't he some other guy doesn't know about this plugin you know about the plugin the other guy wants to charge an arm and a leg to get it done you know that this is a shortcut and you can actually grab uh, that job and uh, also it just saves you time okay so so now we want to go into the menu section and I'm working off of two screens uh, that's why this is so important to have two screens so the one screen has uh, the word document on the right hand side and um, I'm looking at another screen here as I'm putting this together now let me just tell you a couple things here that I think are important uh, so as I slide these in um, I think it's important see this job is broken into two milestones with the customer which is the first kind of like an apartment let's build the apartment before we move the furniture in. let's get the approval let's make it look good um, and all this stuff's in great shape and then uh, once it looks good and you're comfortable with it now let's move to the next step because sometimes it takes them a while to write uh, to write the content and when it takes them a while to write the content uh, you could be waiting for the entire job so to get paid so I'm gonna edit this because I, I didn't notice but I shouldn't have left this this says uh, directly to the page no sub tabs okay so that's direct to the page okay and that makes sense that's what they were trying to tell me there so that's done and then this of course is uh, a sub tab and let's see that's a sub tab that's a sub tab and that's a sub tab of that one okay and I think there might have been one more but we'll, we'll find out okay so now that that's set up okay that's that's our primary menu we're gonna click save and then we're gonna need to do some work on it but my point that I was saying earlier is that when this is designed as a sub page uh, <laughs> designed as a uh, milestone broken into two sections once you get your structure and everything up and running you can actually collect money on the first half of the job I love doing jobs that way because sometimes it'll take people two weeks to come back putting all their content together while you do the structure so see now all of your pages are in uh, that quickly and they're ready uh, ready for content now this home page what we're gonna need to do because we don't want the blog as the home page so we're gonna go in and uh, we could click on customize uh, and if I click on customize here you can see that the static page will no longer be the blog page and we will go in and make that front page uh, the home page and when we click you should see it change over here on the right hand side and see now it's just waiting for content and you see the little logo right there so we've got some cleanup we've got to clean up this blue in the black back we've got to possibly make this light blue here probably match this color blue uh, I wrote all this stuff down on paper so that I'll know exactly what the uh, what they call the RGB the red green and blue I'll know what these colors are uh, for uh, so I can make this blue and make keep these uh, gold uh, and make it match the logo uh, but that's that's basically it and then don't forget uh, to click save once you're done now there's other little things you can do like you can decide which navigation uh, you want to use if you have more than one like this has a top navigation I could add a top menu but I probably won't uh, I would create another menu and create a bottom menu and maybe make the bottom menu bottom menu and I would only put home about a services client FAQs and contact us but I wouldn't have these drop down menus something really simple okay so now that that's done you can go back to the page here and you'll see you still have you know more work to do so you would go into uh, each section like this is our general section our skin our branding our header um, you know some like if you want to get rid of the home in here uh, you could go into this section here you can change the background color uh, you can go in and say you know I want things to be uppercase and man there's a lot of customization uh, built into the system here uh, using seven and I use it again because it is the kind of website that if I'm building a website for a client I can go in and customize it and tweak it and if they ask me to change a color
I can do that.